189, verse 1. Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy, whose trust ever childlike no cares could destroy, be there at our waking and give us, we pray, your bliss in our hearts, Lord, at the break of day. We begin our celebration calling upon our God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. As we begin our celebration of these sacred mysteries, let's pause for a moment, call to mind our weaknesses and failings and ask the Lord for forgiveness and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and in sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. have mercy. You will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins. And bring us all home to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the book of Sirach. Like a fire there appeared the prophet Elijah, whose words were as a flaming furnace. Their staff of bread he shattered, in his zeal, he reduced them to straits. By the Lord's word, he shut up the heavens and three times brought down fire. How awesome are you, Elijah, in your wondrous deeds, whose glory is equal to yours. You brought a dead man back to life from the netherworld by the will of the Lord. You sent kings down to destruction and easily broke their power into pieces. You brought down nobles from their beds of sickness. You heard threats at Sinai, at Horeb, arranging judgments. You united kings who would inflict vengeance and a prophet as your successor. You were taken aloft in a whirlwind of fire, in a chariot with fiery horses. You were destined, as it is written, in time to come to put to end the wrath before the day of the Lord to turn back the hearts of fathers towards their sons and to reestablish the tribes of Jacob. Blessed is he who shall have seen you and who fall asleep in your friendship. For we live only in our life, but after death, our name will not be such. O oh, Elijah, enveloped in the whirlwind. Then Elisha, filled with the twofold portion of his spirit, wrought many marvels by his mere word. During his lifetime he feared no one, nor has any man able to intimidate his will. Nothing was beyond his power. Beneath him flesh was brought back into life. In life he performed wonders, and after death, marvelous deeds. The word of the Lord. <laughs> Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. Rejoice in the Lord, you just. Fire goes before him and consumes his foes around him. 
His lightings illuminate the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. Rejoice in the Lord, and All who worship graven things are put to shame, who glory in the names in the things of God. All gods are prostrate before him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons through which we cry out, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. This is how you are to pray. Our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive others transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Sirach is wisdom literature, teaching book. He praises Elijah and Elisha, two great prophets who had the toughest time in the world. King was against them, the queen was against them. False prophets were against him. He ended up hiding in a cave, but he never lost faith. Neither of them lost faith. When it was Elijah's time to go to heaven, Elisha asked for one simple thing, a twofold serving of Elijah's spirit. And he did many great things as well. How did they do it? They trusted in the Lord. They knew how to pray to the Lord. They knew how to rejoice in the Lord. In the gospel today, Jesus' disciples say, hey Lord, you're good. You got a great relationship with the Father. Teach us to pray like you do. And he gives us a prayer that we just mumble through so often because we know it. Call it the Lord's Prayer. But it begins by telling us who we pray to. Our Father. Our God is our parent. He loves us like a father loves his children. And we know where he's at, who art in heaven. His name's holy, and yet how often do we use it in anger, not saying nice things? We pray that his kingdom become a reality in our world, not just in heaven, but here on earth. We pray that his will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Then we ask for the stuff we need. Give us this day our daily bread. Feed us, nourish us. Give us what we need to get through today. 
living in the present, taking care of today, not worrying about tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll ask it again, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Oh yes, we pray to that one all the time, don't we? But do we follow the next line? Forgive us as we forgive others. Whoops, we're in trouble. We hold grudges forever. We don't talk to people. We gossip about them. We tear them down. Lead us not into temptation. Now God isn't a tempter. I love Pope Francis trying to sit there and get it across, subject us not to the trial for that line. Much better than lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Don't let us do wrong to others. And he stops there. But you know Jesus was never enough just to tell them how to pray. He reminds them, if they don't forgive, don't dare ask for forgiveness. Forgiveness is to be shared. So maybe today when we say the Our Father together, let's not see how fast we can get through it. Maybe when you go over and say your rosary, after you do your 10 Hail Marys, pause for a minute and think of what you're about to pray. Our Father in heaven, he loves us. He cares for us. He wants us to get to know him. He wants us to be wonderful children, looking to him for help. Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pray. That we might see in the Lord a parent who loves us, pray to him with faith, hope, and trust. We pray to the Lord. Lord and thanksgiving for the marvelous example of all those people who work so hard for justice and peace in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord for the men and women serving in our armed forces, for all the first responders, that the Lord guard and protect them, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the unemployed, and those who struggle to find steady work, may Jesus sustain them and bring them hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord for a special intention for Barbara Duran, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the members of our faith community, may God bless our efforts to build up his kingdom here on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all those who have died, especially for William J. Payne, that they forever share God's kingdom of light, joy, and peace, and eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord Please add your own intentions. Feel free to voice them. <coughs> Lord, to hear our prayer. 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 And for the prayers we hold today in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord Eternal and ever loving Father, our prayers are placed before you in faith, hope, and trust. And the love and care you have for your family, grant what we ask you through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> By the mingling of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hand. It'll become for us our spiritual drink. My friends, together let us pray that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, our Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all. O God, who in the offering is presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it's right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the choirs in heaven, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread in his hands and he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread shared it with his friends and said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was nearly ended, he took a cup that was filled with wine. Again, Father, Jesus thanked you for your goodness and your love. Then he shared the cup with his friends and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. Together, we proclaim the great mystery of our faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, bishops, clergy, religious, and all who serve your people. Remember also, all of our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Here it comes, be ready. Jesus has taught us to call God our Father. Thus we're all able to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we might always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your disciples, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, our failings, or our weaknesses. Rather, look on the faith, the hope, the joy, and the love of your people. Grant each of us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with each one of you. Amen. Let's share together the sign of Christ's presence and peace in our life. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. See on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under our roof. Only say the Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Body of Christ. 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 Body
Please rise as we pray together. O oh Lord, as this reception of your Holy Communion foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Next week we're going to be collecting coffee for the little sisters. They need all the caffeine they can get. Warm weather, people probably are really keeping them busy. So if you can, drop it off at the St. Joseph statue and we'll get it to them. But you got a week to do it. Lord be with you. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon us and remain with us forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Celebration of our life and our faith continues. As we go, let's go in peace to love and to serve our Lord. Amen. Closing hymn will be number 257, The Church's One Foundation. We'll do verse 2. 257, verse 2. Elect from every nation, yet one or all the earth. Her charter of salvation, one Lord, one faith, one birth. One holy name she blesses, partakes one holy food. And to one hope she presses with every grace and due. St. Michael. <laughs> <laughs>